Hello, it's Michael here, and I want to show you how the LinkedIn recommendations process has a major flaw and is broken in an area that is really, really super important. Here you can see a recommendation that Karina Maria wrote for me on, actually it was the 2nd of May, and you can see that here and which I then accepted and put on my profile. Now, she wrote this recommendation for a position that is not a current position, but is on my profile. So she specifically wrote this recommendation for my position with Social Sales GPS. Now let's have a look at the recommendations engine inside LinkedIn. And this is the recommendations area, and to get to that, you can go to actually it's the linkedin.com forward slash RECS and that takes you to this engine and you can click on the received there's ones that you've given you can ask for them and you can give them and here you can see that I've got 54 recommendations for my current position which is staying alive UK limited and then I have some other recommendations for previous positions that I've got for previous roles that I've done. But the one that I want to focus on is this one given by Karina, which was done on May the 2nd. And that's very important to note. And I accepted that and it's visible and it's not hidden. I have definitely need to so show that on my profile. So now... I want to just show you how this works because if I'm going to give a recommendation and let's say I'm going to give one to Karina in return <clears throat> and I choose what relationship so Marina Karina was a client of mine my position was this one at the time and hers was her current role and this is what she would have done Right, so she would have picked a specific role, and in, and in the case of my case, she would have picked this role, and these are all the roles that she can select, and then she's written the recommendation, send that through to me. So now let's see whether we can find that recommendation on my profile. So here's my profile, and I'm going to scroll through until we get to recommendations. Here they are. And you can see I've got 58 recommendations. And the last one I had was April the 3rd. So I went, OK, where is it? Why hasn't it shown up? May the 2nd, that should be above this one. So I've got 56 more recommendations. So maybe it's in the list somewhere. So what I did, as you would expect, I clicked a few times. And these are all recommendations for my current role. And I have to keep clicking five more. So I've already clicked twice, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, stay with me here, people, eight, nine. Now watch what happens also when I get towards the end. 10. Still not there. I still can't see her recommendation. 11. There it is. So here is her recommendation dated May the 2nd. Now I did not click through 11 times to be able to find that. Is anybody that is watching my profile or looking at my profile going to click 11 times to see all my recommendations? Unlikely. They may click through once or twice maximum. But now there is no way people can find my latest recommendation if it is for a role that's been with a previous company. These are recommendations for previous roles that I've done, but it's okay because it goes back to 2009, 2013, 2014, 2007. I mean, the reason they're not in date order is because they were for different roles. But those roles aren't referenced here at all. 
Whereas previously, we had those recommendations sitting with the roles above in the experience section. Now they're all in one long list and they're all over the place. So there is no rhyme, reason, logic for this to be done in this way. And for have a recommendation, that is your latest one that you've got, which really, that's the one you want to showcase at the top, is totally nonsensical. Now inside the, the recommendation engine here, there are these buttons, but you can't, you can't, I can't move Karina's over to here. All you can do with these buttons is move them into different order on your profile for that position. So to solve it in the short term, you might want to be able to, to drag them, but then it's for a different role and that's not correct. So the solution surely should be that for all these recommendations that are listed, they they should go in date order, absolutely 100%. Now this has been changed in the new LinkedIn and it needs to tell me what role it's for on here because that is the best way to do it. People should showcase their latest recommendation and show what role it's for. Logically, a previous role, you know, would be, I could have changed roles six months ago and gotten some recommendations. Anyway, I'll stop going on. It's just totally broken. It doesn't work. It doesn't make logical sense at all. So whereas previously these um, recommendations would have been shown with your experience section here, they no longer do. And that's no problem. I can understand that. I still think it would be better to have it with your experience section, but fine. They're all in one long list, but to have my latest recommendation appearing right at the end is a mistake. So now in order to get around this, I'm going to have to ask um, Karina to change this to my current role and then to reference that company so that it will be shown at the top. Also, what I want to illustrate to you, and I hope some of your engineers and support people are watching this at LinkedIn, is I received, I, I discovered this, that it wasn't showing up. So I sent a support ticket. I received and accepted a recent recommendation for previous role, which has ended. I'm unable to find that listed. Please see the recommendation attached. Well, first of all, she came back and said, please read the article about recommendations missing from your profile to reassign your recommendation again or to understand why it's missing recommendations missing from your profile, right? I hope you find this information helpful. I'll be happy to assist. There's no link. I don't understand what she's talking about. So obviously our first thought was, oh, okay, there is a problem then. No. I then responded, where is the link to your article? Really sorry, here's the link. And she's copied and pasted all of the links <laughs> content anyway. And it's saying it may be hidden. It may be withdrawn. The sender may longer be connected. The sender may have closed their account. The position has removed. Oh, it's so frustrating because Blanca obviously did not look at my profile. <laughs> so anyway, I challenged her, have you actually looked at my profile? The issue is that any recommendation other than the role, they are not hidden, they've not been withdrawn. Please investigate properly instead of just pointing me to articles. This is the biggest frustration in LinkedIn and this they keep doing this. Just send an article out. It's just a standard response. If you do not have the answer, please escalate this query. So Priyanka has then come back uh, to this, and you'll see my response above it a minute ago, to say, yeah, I have found it. It's at the very end. If you scroll through your recommendation, I'm able to find it. And I wouldn't have scrolled down that far, so that's why I couldn't see it. Um, so just so you know, on the new desktop versions, the recommendations are not shown attached to a specific experience section, the way you used to see it earlier. They will appear on the recommendation section only. 
I request you to please scroll down to all of the recommendations you have received and this particular one will be shown. However, if you still face any discrepancy. So it's basically just telling me what is happening. Now, I appreciate that's what supporters are there to do. But can't Priyanka even realize that that is ridiculous? So anyway, I, I gave quite a passionate, emotional response to this your engineers are off their heads to think that this is the right way or your user interface designers to, to think that this is the right way to be presenting this information to your customers, especially a paying customer and it's not a cheap product. So anyway, rant over. I hope you guys get this fixed. Bye for now. Staying Alive UK. Share your story.